Meet the king of Brazilian butt lifts. Dr. Matthew Shulman is a go-to name for celebrities who want plastic surgery, and people travel from all over the world to get his procedures. On his TikTok, he dispels myths about plastic surgery and adds medical context to viral videos. I'm Dr. Matthew Shulman, and this is my hi-ho, ask me anything. Hi, Dr. Shulman. What surgery are you most proud of? What was like the biggest feat for you? As a plastic surgeon, one of the areas that we're trained in is hand surgery. Plastic surgeons specialize a lot in the soft tissue, so the skin, the nerves, the tendons, of the fingers and the hands. One of the cases I did many years ago, a gentleman actually cut off all five fingers with a saw. A circular saw fell, he went to grab it and took everything off. I had to sew back every finger under the microscope. It took about three or four hours per finger. So it was about a 15 hour surgery. I had to fix the skin, the bone, the tendon, the nerve, the artery, the vein on each finger. Everything worked and was successful. So that's one going back many years that I'm pretty proud of. Hey doctor, I'm curious to know how long it takes from the first meeting to the surgery to post for an augmentation and how long it takes for you to feel like yourself again. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different. If you were coming to my office for a breast augmentation, you would have the consultation and depending on the schedule, it could take a few months before you can get on the surgical calendar. Some surgeons may have availability next week. Some may have availability next year. I personally wouldn't go to the person that has availability next week because if they're not that busy, maybe they're not that good. My patients, they usually feel pretty good after the surgery within a few days. You're not doing any heavy lifting or any heavy exercising because that can cause bruising, swelling, bleeding, just complications. During that time, most people are happy the way they look. It could take a couple months for things to kind of settle and soften. It really can take a full year to see your final, final results. Do you ever perform non-surgical procedures? Like say a butt lift? Do you ever use like fat injections? Yes, there is a way to make your butt and your hips fuller by using fat, injecting your own fat. The only thing is this isn't really considered non-surgical because I need to do a surgical procedure in order to get the fat. So that's what we call a Brazilian butt lift, where I do liposuction, I take fat cells out of the areas you don't want it, like your stomach or your lower back or your flanks or your thighs, and then we process that fat and then I inject it into your butt and your hips. That is one of the most popular procedure and one of the fastest growing procedures in plastic surgery. It's really my specialty, so I've done probably about 5,000 Brazilian butt lifts. If you wanna do something like that completely non-surgical, you have to use something besides your own fat. So I can use synthetic fillers, like the same type of fillers you would use in your face, but we can use them in your butt and your hips. The problem with that is it's temporary, so it doesn't last that long, sometimes up to a year. And the other thing is it's really expensive because the product itself is expensive and you need a lot of it. So if you want your butt bigger, the best thing is to use your own fat.